Hi guys, it's Rumi the math person uh, and I'll be going over the exponential and variance of exponential distribution. Okay, so the exponential distribution looks like this. It's negatively decaying, never really approaching zero, but it gets really close to it. And this is, it starts at lambda. And this is your x and your y. And something you have to know, this is something you definitely should remember, is the probability function, the f of x, is equal to lambda e to the neg negative lambda t. So let's just start this off by finding the cdf, which is your cumulative distribution function. Again, this is always equal to 0 to some value x which is of lambda e to the negative lambda t dt. So we have to take the antiderivative of this. Well, we can we know that the, it's going to be lambda over lambda, which is going to be one e, negative e to the negative lambda t evaluated from zero to x. So that's equal to negative e to the negative lambda x minus minus, which makes it plus e to the negative lambda zero, which we just know is e to the zero, right? And we also know e to the zero is just one. So we can just say plus 1. And this right here, we can't really simplify this any further. So there you have it. The CDF of x, f of x, is equal to 1 minus e to the negative lambda x. So this is something that you'll be using in future problems, but it's not really relevant to what we're to finding exponential functions. But the idea is still there. In order to find the uh, um, ex expectation, we need to multiply x, or in this case it will be t, times our distribution function, which is going to be our lambda e to negative lambda t. And if you didn't see my previous video, I think it will be really helpful to know the integration by parts. But, so we're going to integrate this by parts. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So I can just say that u is equal to t. Um, du is equal to dt, dv is equal to lambda e to negative lambda t, b is equal to negative e to negative lambda t. Yeah, so our antiderivative or integral of it is going to be equal to negative t e to negative lambda t minus 1 over lambda e to the negative lambda t. And again, Go back to my previous video on IBP if this was too fast. But again, so this is going to be your expectation. Evaluated from zero, oh, I forgot to put that, to infinity, because that's our value of Rx. So, so then we have, it might be a little bit easier to imagine it this way. Or, yeah, if I put it like this, negative infinity over e to the infinity minus 1 over lambda e to the negative oh yeah I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put it in the denominator and you'll see why and minus minus makes a positive so positive putting in the zero here well zero times anything is zero so that's gonna be zero minus minus it will make it positive so this is going to be 1 over lambda e to the negative lambda t right or this is going to be I'm gonna put in zero here okay so then you can see that with the exponential function the more you go the bigger this value is and when you divide a big number by an even bigger number because e of the exponential of infinity is growing a lot faster than the infinity then this actually just goes to zero minus again this is one over a big number like if you don't believe me you can t just type it into your calculator like one divided by one th uh, one billion <laughs> then you'll see that it will get really close to zero so we can just say that these two are both zero plus zero plus zero plus and this is e to the zero which is just you know one so we get that ooh, I don't know what happened so this is equal to one over lambda so then we have it expectation is equal to one over lambda uh, what else are we trying to find? Oh, so in order to find variance, as usual, we have to find the e of x squared minus the e of x 
expectation, the whole thing squared. So in order to find e of x squared, we have to do this exact same thing what we did, but we just have to do it twice. <laughs> because, or IBP twice, because this value right here is going to be your t squared. Lambda e to the negative lambda t dt. Zero to infinity. Again, watch my IBP video if this is too fast. If I'm rushing it, because I am. <laughs> So this is going to be equal to negative t squared um, e to the negative lambda t minus 1 over lambda e to the negative lambda t yeah, minus, um, let's, I will, I guess I'll write it down because I'm, I don't want you guys to confuse, get confused, and I don't want to confuse myself. T squared, and this is equal to 2t. See, yeah, see, I knew I was missing something. Okay. dv equals lambda e to negative lambda t, v equals negative e, negative lambda t. And the second round is going to be du is equal to 2t, dv is equal to negative e, negative lambda t right, right? Mm -hmm. right, right right, right still following? okay, good stuff yeah yeah, 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 okay, so then we just have to take the derivative of this which we know is 2t over lambda e to the negative lambda t minus is equal to just oh is equal to two minus two over lambda squared e to the negative lambda t. Alright, evaluate it zero to infinity and the same reasoning happens as before. This is just equal to zero minus zero minus zero minus zero minus minus so that becomes positive. But when you plug in 0, this just becomes 0, 2, plus 0, plus 0, plus 2 over lambda squared. Okay, we got this, we got this. So now with the variance of x is equal to 2 over lambda squared minus our expectation, which is this right here, 1 over lambda squared, which is also equal to 2 over lambda squared minus 1 over lambda squared is just equal to 1 over lambda squared. And there you have it. That's your variance.